You can get rid of £30 of your hard-earned money or you can keep that money in your pocket and listen to it free on TalkSport on Saturday night as Alexander Usyk takes on Anthony Joshua. Of course, we've been building up to that all week and we'll continue to do so in the company of one of our favourite people on the planet. Uh, the Romford ball we fought a couple of weeks ago. Johnny Fisher's with us. How are you, Johnny? I'm good, thanks, Andy. Good to see you. Good to see you, Darren. Something Come boss. a little bit closer to the mic so people at home can, can hear you. Um, you look great. You're, you're, let's talk about you before we talk about the fight because there's so much to talk about, actually, about that fight. But let's talk more importantly about you. Firstly, how are you? You had your, your sixth fight. Your last fight was Saturday week ago, I think. Yeah, was it? Yep. Um, There's a couple of the boys. A couple of boys from here came down. Yeah, yeah. Did you know that, by the way? Did you know they were coming? Yeah, I knew a couple of them were coming from Talksport. Um, okay. Really good that they wanted to come down. As you said, brought about 800, 900 up to Sheffield. Um, fought Michael Reisinger, a game guy. Won three, lost one. And I saw a video of him actually just before the fight, and he was getting jabbed in the face by one of his teammates and just headbutting the jab. And I thought, oh, it's going to be a difficult night's work, this one. Um, not Might have to go the full six rounds, but luckily in the second round, I caught him right on the chops. Who's and we got him. On the, the chops? chops. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so your, dad was, so your dad's going to come in in a bit. Yeah. Um, why is he Why was he doing that? Who showed you that video? I just saw it. Um, one of the boxing channels uh, put it on social media, and I, I was just fl flipping through one night, and I just saw that. And he's a very proud man, a tough man. I think he's into like the football hooligan scene back at home in the Czech Republic, and oh, wow. uh, just a bit of a bit of a tough nut. But okay. um, there's, you can't be a tough man in boxing because you've got to be skilled as well. Yeah. Not only tough. And the yeah. fight, obviously, it went according to plan because you won. But the actual yeah. whole fight itself, you're happy with everything? Yeah, it? yeah. Um, we we sort of had a discussion. Me and Mark, who's my trainer have a look at him for the first round just assess it because every fight I've tried to sort of assert dominance straight away and, and rush my work a little bit and we just said just have a little relax and I felt a lot more relaxed this one and that's why I was able to pick that shot in the second round So what's next then Johnny? Well, where, where, you know, we know you're developing but then obviously how far away are you from obviously getting your, yeah. your big fights on, under your belt? Yeah, I've had this question a lot recently and um, for me it's just about pulling the reins in, knowing exactly where I am. And um, on Saturday, actually, I'm going out to Las Vegas with Joe Joyce, do some sparring with him. Deontay Wilder's out there. So I've got to do a lot of uh, experience sparring. That's how I'm going to develop. Sparring is mm -hmm. very, very important. It's key for, for your development. And especially me, I've only had a handful of amateur fights, six fights in. There's absolutely no rush. I'm 23 years old. Yeah. And there will be hard tests and they will come. So I haven't got to rush into any. They'll be there exactly when they're meant to be. And uh, I'll be ready when, when they arrive. You talk very well. I love listening to you. <laughs> and, and I know that big things are around the corner. I'm curious, when you fire, so when I used to play football as a kid, I would have commentary in my head while I was playing. And sometimes when we play with the guys, when yeah. we play on a Thursday, they're playing tonight. You played so once. Like, <laughs> when I played with the, you played once. I played once with them, right? I'm too yeah. good for them. I only play once. But I hear commentary as I've got the ball. When really? you're when you're in the middle of a fight, right, what's going on in your head? Do you hear your trainer? Can you hear the crowd? Can you? Are you speaking to yourself? What's happening in I'm there? I'm trying my best to listen to Mark, my trainer, because um, obviously we're the, he's the one who's developed the game plan. That's what I'm trying to hear. But you can't hear, but you hear certain people's voices that you know. My dad, obviously, I hear him a lot. And there'll just be random people that just hear in the crowd. It all depends on the venue mm. as well. And um, the venue, I really like the Sheffield one. It was very different to Ali Paddy. Ali Paddy, everyone was on the same level. There was no stands or anything. It was very flat. But um, Sheffield Arena was brilliant. And yeah, always listen out for my dad's voice and my trainer, obviously. That's the voice I'm, I'm trying to get the, uh, the most out mm. of. Now, I know you're going over to Vegas. <laughs> yeah. I've just been told, obviously, with Joe Joyce. But Deontay Wilder is going to be there. Yeah. And, and you're um, going to take a punch. Oh, definitely. Listen, I'll go in and spar anyone because that's how you oh. get experience. I sparred Tyson Fury, Daniel Dubois, Fabio Waldi, I do a lot of rounds, rounds with. And Joe Joyce, obviously, from the very beginning of my career. And I think that's how you've got to develop. You've mm. not got to be afraid to get in there with them sort of people, especially sparring, because that's where you're going to do your learning. It doesn't matter how you perform. You're just going to throw yourself in that environment. You'll get, you'll get better. You know, you know, sorry, you know you're sparring. Out of them guys, you just said, who hits the hardest? I know, again, I know it's sparring, but who is it they're throwing a shot and you've gone, oof. Daniel Dubois hits very, very hard. He Ooh. does. And, and Joe rules, Joyce. Are there any rules in sparring? As in, you know... Um, sometimes you turn up and you spar. Not much happens. Other times, you just go hammer and tong at each other. And it's oh. just like... Me and Joe Joyce have had spars for six rounds where we're just absolutely going for it. And it's really entertaining. You pay to watch it. <laughs> I bet you, you've got the head guard on, right? Yeah, yeah. In percentage terms, what does that take away from a punch? Not not a lot. Um, there's actually oh. been, there's studies studies have been done on the head guards. Yeah, they don't actually prevent concussions and things like that. It's more to do with the cut side of it. That's why you wear a head guard okay. predominantly. But you've got eighteen ounce, twenty ounce gloves on. So and that what, are you, a bit what are you protection. boxing with? You fight in ten ounce. And when you put oh, ten wow, ounce gloves okay. on, yeah. You just feel you've got your hands wrapped with bandages this time as well, like properly taped up. Your hands feel like bricks when you've got them, when you've got them gloves on as well. So it is very very different when you come to the fight mode. But 
be under no illusion when you spar in these guys they can all punch whether they're wearing 10 ounce or 20 ounce gloves do you, do you, sorry I've got, I've got, I've got, <laughs> so you know when you're sparring these guys and you're talking about some top quality yeah. opposition you're sparring yeah. are you learning more from these fights or from these obviously the guys that you're fighting knocking these guys out and finishing them off that's a great question yeah well it's different you're learning different things from different experiences so the experience of going walking in an arena in front of thousands of people under the lights when there's pressure on people are expecting you to perform that's very different in terms of psychologically what you're learning yeah. but in terms of the skills that you can learn from spying them guys like yeah. Joe Joyce Dubois that's where you can do your, your tactical sort of stuff boxing a certain way The different, there's different elements to what you're learning there so it is different it's like in a training game of football yeah, you, of course, you're, yeah. you're practicing different things but when you're going into a competition the only thing you're worried about is winning so however it comes is however mm. it comes you don't have to think too much does it hurt? Yeah, it does. <laughs> does Definitely it when you get punched in the face? It hurt. Well, think about it. The last two, three years, I look at myself when I first turned pro. I looked like a like a baby, really, and now my face has got a little bit more scorned up. You can see the effects of it a little bit more, yeah. but it does hurt. But I enjoy it. Does it, hurt? I, I, it sounds it sounds. Do you, mental, you enjoy getting love... punched in the? I know that sounds a little bit weird, but you I've... you enjoy that sort of moment where it's man against man. Yeah. I love it. I love the the Ooh. idea of you in a it's combat, isn't it? I, don't yeah. know. I, I think you've got to. You've you, got to you enjoy. Know, you, it. Get, you get some footballers that aren't fans of playing football. They just do it for the money. Yeah. I don't think you can get that. in You boxing. can't get that in boxing. And you can't if you're in boxing and you're not enjoying one second of it. Yeah. You're in the wrong sport because it's a very very dark dangerous place. And if you're not enjoying it, you've got to get out. That these door. guys are built differently. I think men I think mentality has got to be so important. I'm oh. guessing. 90% of it is your, your your mental and psychological state. Think of someone like Anthony Joshua who's reached the pinnacle of the game. Um, he's lost to Usyk now and you've got all these people saying, oh, he's finished and all that. Mentally, how strong have you got to be for that? And he's got to keep coming back and he's got to now try and overturn this and, mm. and win this fight. He doesn't have to box anymore if he doesn't want to. Let me ask you, in, I keep going back to football because that's, of course, what I'm familiar yeah. with. But there, there was a time, there was a time, I know Ben is going to jump in, but there was a time where Manchester United was a fortress, right? And a lot of games, I've heard players talk about this, there you go. They, the game was already lost from the, in the tunnel going out there, right? Mm. As a boxer, when can you lose the fight, bef if at all, before you step in? Could it be in the way when you do the face off? Is it, can that happen at all? Well, as an amateur, I remember a few different scenarios. I only had four senior amateur fights, but I remember when I boxed at my university, I used to try and sort of psych someone out in the as you're walking into the ring. It's only, they're only small, tiny venues. Yeah. I remember I was staring at someone. I was, we were side by side about to walk into the ring at the Lemon Grove in Exeter. And... Um, he was staring at me, so I just completely turned my whole body around and stared at him. And he went to shake my hand before I got in the ring. And like, I thought, that's a moment of weakness there. I didn't mm. shake his hand back there. When I get in the ring, I'll shake his hand. But you can. I, re I, I really do believe you can beat people before you get in the ring sometimes. It doesn't work with everyone, because I think to my fifth fight against Gabriel and Gwema, he wasn't intimidated one bit by me. But there's been other people that you can intimidate. So Who it depends you on the you character. You intimidate more at me and Ben if we, Ooh, we can't. I'd rather, I'd rather see you two have a face off and then oh, you can yeah, see he's yeah, coming. Who do, you, who do you reckon out of you two? Who's gonna in, a, in a boxing do ring. Come yeah. on, Johnny. That's not even a question. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I'm saying, Johnny? If, if I fought Benty, I'd, be, I'd do well to come third. Mm. <laughs> That's a good point. The referee's coming second. I think I'd, bet, I'd bet Benny to yeah. you on that one. Okay. Now, you, you mentioned AJ, obviously, yeah. re, uh, earlier, and you, you spoke about his mentality. Now, obviously, he's going to the rematch with Usyk. Yeah. Um, can you see him turning this fight around? Could you see him winning this fight? Definitely. I can I can see it 100%. Um, I was talking uh, in can the gym you? the other day. Yeah. Can you, honestly? Listen, the way he boxed last time, we've all said it. He's got, to, he's got to impose himself physically. Everyone's saying it. It's very hard to do that. It's one thing saying it. It's another thing doing it. But you see how Chisora done it. He gave him a very difficult night's work. He's still Usyk won. But Joshua is a better boxer than Derek Chisora. And he's got physical strength. He's got speed. He's got combination punches. If he puts a dent in him before the sixth round, I f I'd favour Joshua. But if he doesn't, then we know what's going to happen. Usyk's going to step up see, the gears. The, the problem I've got with it, listen, you know so much more about boxing than I do. But yeah. as a fan looking yeah. in... When when I saw the first fight between him and Andy Ruiz Jr., yeah. right, and then when I saw the second one, it was like, and and someone, this is not my sentence, but someone came up with it. That Andy Ruiz Jr.'s training, he basically lived in a fridge, right? He was just eating yeah. just chocolate, and he looked yeah. come into the ring, he looked awful, yeah. right? Similar scenario now that AJ had to prove to the world he won. He won on points, mm. like it was. I thought if you can't smash someone to pieces that has hardly trained he's massively out of shape to win back your world titles what chance do you have I might be massively wrong but yeah. I think you're, you're fighting someone in Alexander Usyk who's totally different to Andy Ruiz Jr I want I want AJ to win because I'm British it's British boxing he's done so much for British sure. boxing I, I want him to win but I'm not stupid I know Usyk is probably he's the, he's the better boxer technically but you can't you can't outweigh the fact that he's the bigger man he's stronger punches harder all he's got to do, he's got three, four, five rounds to land that big shot on him to his stomach, to his head. And if you can do that, 
you can capitalise on that. He's got to find that 2017, 2018 mentality that Joshua had mm. when he had that finishing ability, that viciousness. And he, he, he can find it. He's going to have to if he's going to beat us. Mm.